The Democratic Republic of Timor-Leste is a country located in Southeast Asia. It lies on the eastern half of the island of Timor. This small yet beautiful island is home to 1.2 million people who make up one of two predominantly Christian nations in Southeast Asia. Statistically, 98% of Timorese people are Catholic. East Timor's official languages are Portuguese and Tetum, which help explain the history of this country. After 450 years of Portuguese colonization, East Timor was almost instantly brought under its neighbor, Indonesia. It was only recently, in 2002, that East Timor became independent, the first new democracy of the 21st century. The Seventh-day Adventist Church was first organized in this new country in 2009. Currently, there is one official church, three companies, and some 500 members spread throughout the island. Today is Sabbath here in Timor-Leste, and we are inside the only Seventh-day Adventist church on this remote island. The people here are happy, and they have a place to worship the God who made them. They sing. They study. They hear the Word of God. They raise their voices high in gratitude for God's grace and protection. Adventist members in Timor-Leste face regular difficulties when they join the church and start following the biblical Sabbath. Members are often rejected, persecuted, threatened, expelled or fired, and at times physically attacked. This is Los Palos, a remote town on the eastern shore of Timor-Leste. We came here to visit an Adventist member who took a brave stand for God. Joaquina is a Seventh-day Adventist member who lives in Los Palos. Her home is humble. It is also her shop and workplace. Joaquina is a tailor. She sews clothes, purses, and many creative items to earn a living. Joaquina has a physical condition that causes her a lot of pain and challenges. One day she felt so weak that she prayed for God to help her. It was then that two Adventist missionaries came to her house, prayed with her, and gave her a Bible. As Joaquina learned the Bible, she decided to become a Seventh-day Adventist. Unfortunately, there is religious discrimination in this area. Soon, Joaquina's neighbors filed an unjust complaint against her and she was taken by the police. It was a difficult time for Joaquina, but after this incident, she became even more encouraged to abide by her Bible-based faith. She made the decision to be baptized and join the small local Seventh-day Adventist group. Her persecution is still evident at times, but Joaquina finds the opportunity to speak about God every chance she gets. On Saturdays, she closes her shop, and people have to wait until after Sabbath for her services. This small community in Los Palos is working hard to plant a new church. There are also other groups in Timor-Leste who ask for your prayer and support for the many challenges they face daily as they follow Jesus. Please pray for the people here. Pray also for the global mission pioneers and missionaries working in this beautiful new nation.